Hello, my dear colleagues. My name is Dr. Ahmed Atalik. I'm an international trainer of MP GAN. Now I will mention about lipolysis. We are using lipolysis for body, double chin, and face applications. Now today I will show you a body application. Inspection is very important, but please believe me, palpation is very more than important. The inspection. You can find the correct the superficial subcutaneous layer and you can draw and you can calculate, you can use easily. Why I draw every time my patients? Because I want to calculate what is the amount of the, my product and depth. We are using in MPGAN 10 mm depth. For double chin and neck area, we are using 8 mm depth. You can arrange your MPGAN easily. And Face applications, also some of the sagging cheek areas, you can use sagging jaw areas, you can use 6 or 8 mm depth for lipolysis. I will manage uh, my machine. How? It's not controlled. Every time I will manage, for example, some of the, the highest area, I will use more products and other areas from laterally, I will reduce my products. I can show when I'm pushing the store and the gone. And I will store Laterally, the central areas depth of the fat layer is too much, and I'm giving more products in the central areas. My needle going to the perpendicular. You can see I'm giving more products some central areas. When I'm going to laterally, I'm decreasing my products volume. And the other line. It's very easy, comfortable and safe way. You can see that is 10 millimeters or bell area. And the last line for this area. Also during the, your vision, you can stretch the skin. There are some danger points in our application. The umbilicus area, you cannot cross more than one centimeter. You can create this area. You can see there is no bleeding because depth is 10 millimeters. In that area, there is no vessels. It's a very safe area. Machine is my own control. Where I'm putting to my piston, it's going and some areas need more products, some of the heel areas. I complete all areas. This is the end of the lipolysis treatment with MPGAN.